I was working on some code stuff, but that's finally out of the way. So now I'm going to get back to listing. I'll first process this order, and then I will uh, continue working on these 1x2 Technic bricks. So the next container of 1x2 Technic bricks is now empty. So I think that's the second one so far. But now I'm done. In addition to the ones the other day, I've done the red, yellow, and tan. Um, I think that's all. Let me just check brick store. Um, yeah, so these four are done, and I'm now on the light blue gray, and there's a lot of them, uh, so that made up a whole bunch as well, so, uh, yeah, these are the good condition, these are the light gray mixed in, because as you can see, there's light gray mixed in as well, um, so yeah, then I'm just, uh, working on the light blue gray ones now, and then after that, there's just these guys left. Just finished checking the light blue gray for damage, so these ones are good, and these ones are also damaged, so that's done. Uh, these here are the light gray that weren't extremely damaged, that I didn't throw out right away, that I'm going to, once these are counted, uh, then list that, and uh, yeah, then I can get to that, and I'll try to get all that stuff, all of this stuff, along with the stuff from the brick store file from the past few days, uh, finished tonight, and then uploaded when I was working on these guys, I just noticed that, uh, let's see if I can get it to focus, a whole bunch of them aren't even Lego. They were able to get past uh, all the sorting process up to this point where I was checking them for damage, but uh, I'd say about three quarters of these guys uh, weren't even Lego of the light gray, so that was interesting. Well, the blue didn't fare too well. These are the damaged and these are the good ones. They are definitely the worst of the condition so far. And I realized I forgot to record uh, Claymore when he was down here earlier. I was going to, but I didn't think of it until after he had left. Um, and uh, But then the minifigure thing over there sold again. Uh, let me just get it up real quick. eBay right here. One moment, just getting it up on the screen. Waiting shipment. It was right here for 357 plus shipping again so that sold and uh they've already paid so that's good and uh now i'll get back to these guys i think that this is single-handedly going to be the absolute worst of all the colors because let's just take a random row for example probably won't pick up too well on camera but that one there isn't yellowed but um maybe not that one there either but pretty much everything else is yellowed and uh yeah i'm not going to be selling yellowed uh one by two technic bricks so yeah these ones there's not going to be too many of them that get through probably but uh besides that there is only the dark blue gray and dark gray left and then it's done so yeah that just happened just finished with all of the parts from the past few days, so it's 1600 parts for 110. Um, so that is now uploaded, and then this is the last of the damaged 1x2 Technic bricks. So that's done. Um, now I can put a whole bunch of those drawers away and stuff, but uh, yeah, that stuff is now done. Yogurt time. Just got one order in the mail today, so I'll have to process that. And then got a thing from Canada Post uh, saying that uh, the sender requested signing for a package. I looked at the orders that I have on the way. None of them are even at $100. So it's not like it's anything super expensive I'm expecting. So because it just adds like an unnecessary trip and it just ends up delaying delivery and everything like that. Usually when a seller does that for a cheap package, I just don't go to that store again. Uh, so then I'll have to try to remember to uh, pick that up uh, sometime um and uh so yeah then i am uh going to be able to work on this order right here uh this part was for dimension this wing but the thing is i need two of them for dimensions but i don't think there's anything else for dimensions in here but uh yeah then uh i'll work on processing this order and uh yeah guess i'll get back to listing then just finished processing the order and there's really only five damaged parts which wasn't too bad uh, there's a few others but it was just either minor damage that i just put in one of the drawers and i'll list it as such whenever i get around to it or uh, something like that uh so yeah then this uh, stuff here not too bad considering the order was um 39 parts so uh, compared to the 30 to 40 percent damaged part uh that i often get this year is uh not bad at all so uh yeah then i'll message about these and then get on to the next thing so now that's done, so now I can uh, put these guys away, they're the rebuilt ones, and then put this box back, and then get to work on other stuff.
that has got to be one of the highest sales I've seen in Canada in a long time. It's uh, 58% off of dots. I'm still not worth it. I mean, I'm still not going to buy it. Even if it was 10 bucks, I probably still wouldn't. Although at 10 bucks, well, it's only 480 tiles. If it was like under 10 bucks, I might buy these for part out. But it is just like no one wants dots. It's crazy. And we lost internet again. That internet outage happened at the worst possible time. I was working on some code um, for uh, some stuff. And just as I was uploading it, um, it that's when we had the internet outage. And I have it uh, set up in a really confusing way that when the code uh, for something, it's not for the project I'm working on, it's for a different thing, um, gets updated on my computer it then has a check on this computer that checks for updates once every minute and then restarts everything so that it's applying the new updates um, just so that if there's a power outage, it doesn't cause a whole bunch of issues and it's running off the battery of this. Um, but then the internet outage happened at the exact time that I basically pressed the upload button. And so then I don't know what happened, but it just broke everything and uh so i just spent the last hour and a half two hours almost just trying to get it back working again so uh, i think i might finally have it but uh yeah that was the worst timing for the internet outage possible potentially rogers here to finally fix the internet so it sounds like we're getting a new modem, so that's exciting. And then I just saw this cool metallic saw thing, and it's just cool. I don't know. So this is the modem. It's uh, Gen 2 or old one is Gen 1, but we have one even older than that. So I honestly don't know what Gen that was. Um, but uh, we didn't get Gen 3, so unfortunately we don't get the absolute uh, fastest one. But this should relatively do the trick well it's fine um so shouldn't be an issue hopefully but if it doesn't work then they said they're gonna have to try a couple other things but apparently one of the boxes related to the wi-fi was completely rusted over and they had to replace a whole bunch of stuff with that and uh so yeah now it's uh hopefully gonna be good wonder if it'll pick it up but there's like a high pitch sound from somewhere i'm not sure how safe exposed copper is right next to the main breaker box but Hopefully it's fine. I can't remember if that's our internet or that's our internet, but it's one of them. And it is extremely high pitched of a sound. Oh wait, it's one of those internet? What are, like, what's with all of this stuff here? There's like so many cables that aren't being used and exposed wires and all that good stuff. Uh, yeah, it's and then cut off cords there. It is a confusing place sometimes. And uh, probably just not safe to go too close to it. So then just some comparisons of before and now. Um, this is our old internet because I had actually taken a speed test just before I went upstairs to check uh, the new Wi-Fi stuff and I left the screen up. Uh, so before it was 143 and 0.7, upload has always been extremely slow, um, at least down here. So that was the old one, uh, old internet, and now it's 179 and 3.89. It's uh, not anything noticeably different, but it's slightly better. At least uploads a lot better, um, but that does vary a lot. Like if I run it again, it'll probably be completely different again. Um, but uh, yeah, then at least it seems to be slightly better and hopefully it means no more internet outages. But uh, then it did say that if there is still issues, then uh, they're gonna try some other thing and they're gonna have to like drill a hole in the wall and stuff like that so uh hopefully it works but yeah then we can see it's funny how for upload it uses the highest number and then for download it uses the lowest number um but yeah now it's down to 2.89 so it does vary a bit but uh not bad overall i guess just finished with the light blue gray so that is another container for the garbage just finished with the dark blue gray ones so that's all of the stuff there there was 491 of them listed uh these here are the garbage ones from it and so then now that can go to the side and next up is all of the stickered parts that were added because uh i finally have time to list them so i'm going to now add all of these guys to brick store and then after that's done i'll see if i can get the file uploaded so just finished with the uh, stickered parts. So that is um, 
all of that stuff I forgot to look um, but now that brings the store to 19,300 lots for sale uh, still hoping to hit 20,000 by the end of the year but uh, we'll see and uh, so now that that's done uh, I should probably pull orders soon because it's already almost 930 sold some used fins the buyer bought one two three and four only 6,396 left or 6,396, I have no idea if that's what I said. Well, uh, I have a whole bunch of these. This is the third one so far since the Wi-Fi was supposedly fixed. Always crazy how the printer internet shows up first before the actual internet. Yogurt time. Got some stuff in the mail today. There was this order here, so that was that. And this is the one where, for some reason, uh, PayPal was confused and delayed the payment slightly. I have no idea why, but they just did and stuff but then it was uh just cleared a little while later so that wasn't any issues um then after that there was this order here and uh so then this guy's for dimensions this one's for dimensions this one's for dimensions this one's for dimensions this one's for dimensions and this one's for dimensions although now looking at it uh in person these two here are probably the same brick um so there's that and then um lastly there is this one here uh which went to the store for this cape and uh because then that will finish dimensions off for the uh adventure line and then there's this one for dimensions that one for dimensions um that's davy jones beard and i've got his claw thing so i've got all the parts for him now that one is four dimensions although i can't remember if i found that one after the fact um and then uh don't need it anymore uh then these wheels so i got four of them four dimensions and then this armor thing here was for dimensions um let's see what else in here um don't know if anything else in here oh yeah this thing here is actually part of a minifigure believe it or not it's a different color because i had a choice to choose between colors and uh, that one seemed more interesting than your standard red one um so uh yeah there's that uh, stuff for dimensions so uh i've got a lot of stuff to do first so i won't be getting around to this for a little while but uh yeah then i still have to pick up that one package that i have to sign for so i'm just really curious which one that is at this point um but uh yeah then lots of work to do Lots of stuff to ship out today, and uh, these are the Brickling and Brick Owl orders this year, and that's eBay, and uh, that one's a sticker sheet. So they installed a whole bunch of speed bumps on the road every couple houses. Um, you can, oh, sorry, I just went over them. Uh, you can see them up there. There, oh, I can't find my hand on the camera. Up there, there's more. It seems like it's every couple houses and stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of street racing in this area and uh, a lot of kids walking uh, throughout the area. So it makes sense, kind of, but it's just so many of them. But uh, well, yeah, who knows? So then there's something going on over there. It used to be a field just like that side, but uh, who knows? Here's a slightly better angle that whatever that is there. Not quite sure entirely. Try to zoom in. So yeah, this was the package. It wasn't from Canada Post or anything like that, but it was just uh, the one uh, here. And uh, so it was only uh, 80 bucks USD, so it's not like it was a crazy expensive order. Um, but I mean, yeah, it's who knows. But I never really realized until now, I mean, for dimensions, because it's uh, a lot of duplo and stuff like that. Um, it was somewhat worth it, but I just realized after shipping, it was about 20 ish dollars canadian on shipping so yeah no probably not gonna shop there too too often i forgot it was that expensive on shipping from them so it's now time to start going through the orders that were in the mail um so yeah lots of parts for dimensions there's this order and then a couple more over there so i am going to first tackle all this stuff and then i uh, accidentally made my code worse um so i have to fix that because it was causing quite the issues yesterday so um, i'm gonna work on dimensions and processing these orders then try to fix that and then after that is all done i can hopefully get back to listing parts but this will probably take quite a while so for reference, before we start with all of the dimensions, um, there are currently 446 left that are missing dimensions. So we'll see how many of them we can uh, get rid of uh, with uh, all the parts in these orders. 
Always good fun when you order seven of a torso and not one of them is in good condition. So I ordered uh, this um, set of legs right here and it's in brand new condition and I already put it in the drawer because um, I already sent them a message and oops, just dropped a different thing. Um, and then they sent me these legs here which are not the same legs. Um, I ordered, uh, one second, let me get it up again. Right here, here, here. Um, so yeah, I ordered these ones and then I received these ones. And these here were, how much did I pay for them again? Uh, that was three and a half bucks for those and these ones go for about 40 cents. So uh, yeah, that's uh, always good fun when that happens. And uh, because of that, I'd already gotten the rest of the bricks. I guess I had just uh, thought that I was sent the right one uh, and started getting the bricks for it. So I almost had uh, two more minifigure dimensions done, but I uh, guess I'll have to wait on these. Yogurt time. Just getting to work today. Um, so yesterday I wasn't able to finish everything um, that I had started. So I, uh, today, one second, let me just get these lights on. Um, so today I am going to first, uh, finish with processing the orders. Um, this is the one I didn't finish processing yesterday. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I got this one in the mail today. Um, so in this order here, let me just get the last light. Um, so in this order here, there is, uh, this headgear, this headgear, this headgear, this headgear. Uh, no, that's a beard of him. I meant uh, this headgear and this one right here are for dimensions. So I can get uh, a couple more of those done. Uh, then, uh, so I'm going to finish processing those two orders. Then either after that, um, and then after that, I'm either going to try to fix the code because I didn't have any time for that yesterday. Or I'm going to work on rebuilding some minifigures. I brought down the charger because I'm almost certain the laptop died. Um, but, uh, yeah, lots of work to do, um, and, uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching. If you got this far, today is Wednesday, so the next vlog should be out on Saturday, but there is lots of work to do, so, uh, hopefully this next vlog will be a little bit longer.